Welcome to the CSSN channel. Our topic for today is primary exercise headache and I'm sure you're gonna enjoy the information. My name is Abzar Habibinia. I have an MD degree and I'm the director of the Canadian Academy of Sport Edition. Subscribe to the CSSN channel on YouTube to enjoy the information that we share on a regular basis about medicine, weight loss, fitness and sport edition. Today I'm going to talk about primary exercise headache sometimes it is called benign exertional headache and sometimes it is called exercise induced headache as you can guess from the name this type of headache usually happens during exercise or after exercise it is one of those 17 types of uh, primary headache that actually we discussed in the past this type of headache can happen in any form of exercise, but mostly we see uh, among those people they exercise with high intensity. And also it is interesting to know that exercising in hot weather on high altitude is going to trigger this type of uh, headache. But please keep in mind that primary exercise headache can happen in any form of exercise, in any weather, in any altitude. In terms of clinical uh, features, uh, primary exercise headache is very similar to cough headache and migraine. When the pain starts, usually it is in uh, basically both sides, we call them it, it's bilateral and has throbbing nature. That means the pain is gonna be pounding, right? The pain can last anywhere between five minutes to two days. And for some reason that we don't know, the pain in adults is gonna last longer than teenagers. The exact mechanism why primary exercise headache happens, we don't know yet. But there is a type of exercise headache, we call it weight lifters headache. We know the reason for that. Weightlifters headache we see among weightlifters and powerlifters because weightlifters and powerlifters they lift heavy weights. To lift heavy weights they hold their breath and they strain. We call them in medicine they do a Valsalva maneuver. When you strain and you hold your breath you're gonna block the return of blood flow from head to the chest. Then we're gonna have a venous distension in the head, which is gonna lead to basically to headache. But if you're experiencing any headache during an exercise, definitely we suggest you talk to your doctor. Your doctor or specialist in an approach to evaluate a primary exercise headache, they have to rule out a couple of important conditions. Uh, I'm going to put in here three uh, medical conditions that your doctors, they have to rule out. They have to make sure that uh, your headache, your exercise is benign. So they have to make sure that you don't have uh, those three medical conditions that I'm going to list in here. Because if someone has any of these three medical conditions that I'm going to list in here, uh, they could have a uh, headache during exercise. Number one is called pheochromocytoma. I know a strange name. It's a benign tumor in the adrenal glands. If you are experiencing a headache during exercise, I'm not scaring you off and it is your family doctor's specialist job to discover that you are not suffering from uh, for chromocytoma. And also when you experience headache, your exercise, your doctor, they have to make sure that there's uh, nothing going up there, right? We don't have any lesions in here. That's why they have to rule out any, I'm gonna put in here, intracranial uh, uh, lesions. They have to make sure that there's a nothing happening uh, inside the skull and one more thing that they have to rule out you know there are two arteries that carry blood from the heart uh, to the head and in medicine we call them uh, carotid uh, arteries basically they 
carry blood from the heart to the head. If these two arteries, they are narrow, uh, this could lead to headache during exercise. That's why your doctor, they have to lot carotid artery stenosis. Hopefully someone doesn't have any of these uh, three medical conditions and it is just uh, headache during exercise. That's why we call them benign exertional headache. But let's see what we could do to them. What they can do to basically uh, get out of, of that headache. The good things about primary exercise headache is this. It is self-limited. I'm going to put in here uh, the headache is self-limited. That means the exercise headache is going to go away by itself. If you keep continuing your exercise routines within three to six months, the headache will disappear, hopefully. But if it didn't, then your doctor, uh, they are going to prescribe some uh, medications for you. Here are the list of the some medications that uh, in medicine they prescribe for primary exercise headache. Uh, the best medication would be Indometacin. In the medicine, you're gonna need 25 to 50 milligrams a day. Probably this is the best medication uh, to prevent from primary exercise headache. Number two would be uh, ergotamin. Ergotamin, usually you're gonna need one milligram a day. The Third medication would be dehydroergotamin. Usually this one comes as, I'm going to put in here, comes as a nasal uh, spray. Usually you can spray, you know, into your nose uh, before your uh, exercise sessions. And number four, uh, naproxen. Naproxen, usually you're going to need 300 to 500 milligrams a day. Uh, actually, we see... Uh, Often that people for a primary exercise headache, they take uh, Tylenol and magnesium. I'm afraid magnesium and Tylenol, they won't help. So you have to go to your doctor and they're gonna prescribe you either on the medicine, ergotamin, uh, dehydroergotamin, which comes as a nasal spray, or naproxen. You don't have to take all of them, just one of them definitely is gonna be enough. But there are people that they cannot tolerate indometacin, naproxen, or ergotamin. And for those people, they're going to prescribe this. Uh, beta blockers. There are ergopov uh, medications in medicine that are prescribed for migraine, high blood pressure, for some other conditions. And the most famous medication from this group, it's called Inderol, or other name is Propranolol. So you could be prescribed anywhere between 20 to 40 milligrams uh, per day to prevent from primary exercise headache. I really hope that you learned something interesting today because we make science easy to understand. Now you know. If you don't want to miss the videos that we post on a regular basis on CSSN channel, on YouTube, you can subscribe to our channel. To support us, you can share, like, or comment on this video. Until next time that I'm going to talk about a different type of headache, stay safe, stay connected.